If you guys want some fast, cheap, and reliable coins this team of the season, go check out buycheapfifacoins.com and use discount code CURTIS for 5% off. The perfect way to pick up some of these amazing team of the season players. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 10 to FIFA 14 video. Today we are going to be looking at the Serie A team of the season players. We have six today, we'll be looking at six whenever I next get the chance to do so. We'll probably be missing out on Liga 1 this week, so I don't want to overload your sub boxes with too many of these FIFA 10 to FIFA 14 videos. But before we get stuck into this one, I do want to say if we get it 500 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. Sub as well if it's your first time watching and let's get stuck into it with the goalie. Now, I do also want to say I'm at the FA Cup final today, so there may not be like much interaction on the comments but do comment down below because I will be checking them in a couple days. Uh, let me know if you would like to see me do the Liga 1 and if you'd like to see me continue to do this for the rest of the team of the season. But anyway let's not ne uh, neglect this Sanctus here. So as you can see I believe that first card was Napoli when they didn't have a license to use that card or something along those lines. So he's been at Napoli I believe for those three seasons there. Then he moved to Roma and he's had a fantastic year at Roma this season for sure. It's amazing how uh, last season's stats for him were almost identical other than kicking. That was all that changed between FIFA uh, 13 and 14, which is odd. But he's had a fantastic year this year. Obviously, Roma have been so solid at the back, and he got that well-deserved Team of the Season card. 86 rated, very, very decent indeed. And uh, yeah, like I said, he's been very good this year and definitely deserves it. Next up, you have Giorgio Chiellini, one of the best centre-backs in the world. It's funny to see just how much hair he had back in FIFA 10. He definitely had a full head of it, but now he is as bald as Iron Robin is. And uh, he has not really changed a right lot. He's kept amazing pace. He's kept around the same sort of ratings. I mean, he's been 80, 80, 82, 80, 77 for his pace. His ratings have been between 86 and 84 uh, along the FIFAs. And he's just been really solid. He got the team of season back in FIFA 12. Didn't get one in FIFA 13, but he's got another one this year. And it's a 91 rated one, which is absolutely disgusting. And like I said, he's just he's been really cheap this year. And he's just been a really overpowered centre back indeed. Next up, we have Mehdi Benatia. Now, I have absolutely no idea as to why this dude wasn't on FIFA for FIFA uh, 10 and 11. I mean, he started off at Marseille from 05 to 08. 08. Uh, he went to Clermont from 08 to 10. And then from 2010 to uh, 2013, he was at Udinese. So I have absolutely no idea why he didn't have Udinese cards for 10 and 11. Very, very odd indeed. But he does have his Roma card now. And wow, how good has he been this year? He started off as that 82 rated one. He got the two informs, then got bumped up to an 84. Then those uh, the 83 and 84 informs. Forms got bumped up and now he has that 90 team a season and wow it's just it's so so good he's such a great player he's so fun to use an ultimate team really overpowered I just like uh, seeing that 73 pace with an 84 rated card so good and then of course obviously that amazing 90 rated team a season I would definitely recommend picking it up and he's definitely like De Sanctis earned it this year. Next up we have Paletta. I honestly don't really know a lot about this dude. So as you can see he's been playing for Parma this year. Again I don't really know much about Parma. I only kind of know a bit about the top teams in the Serie A. But uh, I assume he's had a very very good season to be able to get involved in the team of the season. Uh, it's interesting to see how much he's grown. He started off as a 72 then a 71 he went down and within those few FIFAs he's grown quite a lot to go all the way up to have an 84 team of the season card. But like I said don't really know enough about him to comment on him so we're just going to move it straight on to the next one. So next up we have Kandreva and this guy has had some fun cards to use over the last couple of FIFAs. Now uh, he, he's played for a lot of different teams throughout the years however uh, the one that I found most interesting was last year. I haven't included all of his cards on here but if I quickly load it up now you'll see that he had like so many different cards. So he started off with a 77 non-rare uh, centre mid. Then he got an 80 rare centre mid and then he also had an 80 rare right mid. So I only included this centre mid one but f uh, very strange that he moved around a lot and I can imagine that centre mid card would have been so IP. Look at those stats there. Great pace, dribbling, shooting, defending and passing. He would have been absolutely solid there. But obviously now he's moved to the right mid and he's had a fantastic season there and has a really, really solid team of season card. 88 pace, 89 dribbling, 84 shot and 88 passing. Haven't had the chance to pick him up yet but I know for a fact he'll be amazing because I know a lot of guys like his ordinary card. Next up we have Jovini. Oh, 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 oh. Now this guy, this guy, I mean, <laughs> he played for Arsenal. He wasn't good for Arsenal, Let, let's just put it that way. And he was brilliant for Lille, and he's been brilliant for Roma. He obviously doesn't suit the Arsenal like team, he doesn't suit uh, the Premier League, everything like that. He must be just more suited to a less physical Liga 1 and Serie A competition, which is completely fair. There's a lot of players that don't settle into the Premier League uh, properly. And yeah, he, he did have a tough time at Arsenal, but since going to Roma this season, he's been absolutely tremendous. He's been so, so good for them, really set the world on fire. And that's why he's deserved that 85 rated team season card and a very very solid card it is indeed i've pulled him twice in packs this week which is crazy um 
and not in any of the 50k packs. It was all in like the special packs on Wednesday, but uh, very decent nonetheless. And that is the end of this episode, though, guys. Let me know down below uh, if you want to see that League of One Team of the Season one in a few days. I'll be doing the second part of this one tomorrow, possibly, if not Monday. Uh, depends how I feel after the FA Cup game tonight. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Remember, if we could hit 500 likes, that'd be absolutely amazing. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.